Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Prag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see strings in C++ programming language. How can we define string? String is defined as an ordered sequence of characters. So in short, string is collection of characters. Here you can see, this is one string. This is another example of string. This 1 to 3 is also one string. This Pune dash 43, this is also one string. So basically, string is collection of characters. So see, there are five characters and these five characters made one string. Here, there are four characters. These four characters form one string. In the same way, these three characters, one, two, three, has made one string. Right? So basically, string is collection of characters. Now see, we are defining string as ordered sequence of characters. What is the meaning of this? So see, if we consider this string P, wherever in main memory, this character P is saved. So adjacent to that memory location, another character A is saved. Again, adjacent to that memory location, another character R is saved. So see, these characters are saved in contiguous memory location. And that's why it is said that string is ordered sequence of characters. One thing we should note down, in many programming languages, single characters are represented by single code. For example, C, P, this is single character, right? And when I have string or multiple characters, so it is represented by double code, like this. So see, this is one string, that is multiple characters. And this is single character. There can be string with a one character, no problem. But normally strings are represented by double quotes. And single character is represented by single quote. Now we will see what are the different ways to define strings in C++ programming language. So basically there are two ways. One way is by array of characters. And this is conventional C style. So see. C++ is upgraded version of C language, right? C++ has originated from C language. So see, in C language, string is considered as array of characters. So in C++ also, we can define string as array of characters. For that, we will see some examples. Second way is by using string class. This string class is defined in namespace SD. Now see, we will focus on first way that is defining string by array of characters. So here I have given some examples. Here you can see. Here we have defined one string with the name para, right? And that we are saving in array of characters, right? Okay. Then we have another string, Jaigopal, right? And that we are saving in array only. But for that purpose, we have one pointer. Pointer which is pointing to character, right? This is constant right this is constant string and that's why when we are defining by pointer so here we have to use keyword const so see in second way we have defined string but by using character pointer right but see str2 still it is the array of characters then we have third example here we have defined string but we have not initialized right so in program what we will do we will take string from the user and that string we will allocate to this array. Now see, one important thing, here string is terminated by null character and this null character is represented like this, backslash followed by zero. So this is null character. Now see, how many characters are there? Five, right? In Parag word, there are five characters, right? But when they are saved in array of characters, so basically there are six characters, see. These are five characters followed by one more character that is this is null character. So this null character represents end of string. So see these five characters plus this character. So total there are six characters right. So every string which we are defining as array of characters it is terminated by null character which is represented like this right backslash zero. Now for this we will see one program. So see. Here, I have opened Visual Studio Code. So see, here I have defined one string, right? I have initialized it with parag. What is the name of string? str1. 
and this is array of characters right so here we are defining string as array of characters then here we have constant string constant right that we are allocating to str2 which is character pointer then we have one more string right we have one more array of characters here we have defined it but not initialized so what we will do that string we will take from the user and that string we will allocate to str3 so here you can see we are printing str1 first thing right then we are printing str2 then we are giving message to the user to enter one more string right and that string we are allocating to str3 right so see here just we have defined and here we are allocating it we are taking one string from the user and that we are allocating to str3 and then we are printing it right okay now we will run it so see we will go to terminal we will compile it press enter okay no compilation error now we will run it okay so string as character array first name parag right so str1 middle name jaygopal so that was str2 right str2 and third string enter last name so see suppose i am entering my last name like this okay last name jambulkar right so this is str3 so that string we have taken from the user right so in this example we have seen how to define string as array of characters right okay now see second way here we can define string as an object of string class see again i am repeating here we can define string as an object of string class this string class is defined in namespace std now see we will have some example this is string class this is object right this is object class object and we are initializing it by this string right so str4 is a string basically which is the object of string class we are initializing it by string parag right then another example str5 again that is an object of string class and we are initializing it with string jaygopal right okay now see third string so str6 is an object of string class here just we have defined but not initialized so what we will do in program we will take it from the user and that we will allocate it to str6 so see i have open visual studio code now see look at this so see this is string class and this string class is defined in namespace std now see string is a class we are defining one object with the name str4 and we are initializing it by parag so in round bracket we have mentioned this string parag right so basically what we are doing we are passing this parameter this string as a parameter to the constructor of string class right we are creating one object with the name str4 and to that constructor constructor of string class we are passing one parameter this parag which is string now see one more example here we are creating one object with the name str5 here we are using is equal to symbol right here we have mentioned string in round bracket here we are using is equal to symbol and we have allocated string jaygopal right then third string so here we have defined but not initialized so that we will take from the user right okay here we are printing str4 then we are printing str5 for str6 we are taking input from the user so for that purpose we are asking user to enter last name right to enter one string that we are saving in this object right so see here we have declared or defined and we are taking from the user and here we are allocating to that particular string object right and then we are printing it okay now we will run it okay we will open terminal okay now we will compile it okay no compilation error now we will run it okay press enter so here you can see parag that is str4 right then jaygopal that is str5 then we are asking user to enter one string here i am entering my last name that is jambulkar okay press enter okay so this string jambulkar i am allocating to str6 
and then I am printing it on the screen. So in this video, we have seen what is string in C++ programming language and also we have seen different ways to define strings in C++ programming language. One way was by array of characters and second way was by using string class. Okay, so we will meet in next video. Thank you.